Hey you guys, weekly update. My name is Chrissy Vane and I am a professional wrestler. I am a medical esthetician and I am also a spiritual teacher and guide. So my last two videos have been on um, coming off of social media and taking a break. Um, it was wonderful. I was sort of fading into nothingness and just concentrating on, you know, whatever tasks were at hand. Um, the last video that I did, I had mentioned that I was feeling sort of called back to it. I was like, no, I don't want to go back to it. Like I really wanted to focus on nothingness and, um, just sort of going inward and not looking for outside validation because I think so many of us just look for outside validation and we should really be giving that to ourselves. So, um, I was doing quite well with it. I had sort of gotten over the hump and then I got a text Saturday afternoon that a television pilot that I had shot a couple of years ago out in LA had made it to television. It was picked up and it was, um, my season had actually debuted on Saturday. So, <laughs> oh, hypocrite much because I immediately was like, holy shit. Like it wasn't like so much of like, it wasn't so much of like, oh my God, I have to like let people see me. It was more of like, oh my God, something that I did made it to TV, like 20 years in professional wrestling. And I finally, something I will be etched in history, like something that I did finally got to TV. And it was just so freaking exciting, like so freaking exciting. So, um, you can now stream WoW Superheroes on CW TV as well as the Pluto TV app, which actually has quite a bit of wrestling. So I shamelessly <laughs> went back to social media and my husband was like, well, are you going to stay on? Are you going to make the most of this? Like yada, yada, yada. And I really feel this pull, like, I'm so happy. Like, literally you guys I've messed up my career over and over and over again through the last 20 years either by a not hanging around long enough for anything to happen and getting career ADD and jumping to the next thing or b you know when I was with WWE I literally just self-sabotaged that all on my own because I was medicating with um, Xanax and anti-depression pills and I just wasn't clear I, I was taking probably 15 pills a day and I just wasn't clear. So, you know, so many shadows around my wrestling career and feeling like I had destroyed it and that I would never get a chance. And then I shot this pilot two years ago and it was amazing. And I'm so thankful to WOW for giving me the opportunity. But here we are two years later, actually a little over two years, and we hadn't heard anything about it. And then all of a sudden it shows up and I'm like, oh my God, like I can go to my wrestling grave now, like that I did something substantial and that this 20 years wasn't just wasteful. Not that it was wasteful anyways, cause I have, oh my God, beautiful family, like gotten to go to all these amazing places. But you know, when, I don't know, me as a performer, I always wanted to go to like the highest level. So I was never really just happy doing um, the smaller stuff, not that that's not crazy fun, it is, but I w really wanted to be etched in history somehow in professional wrestling. So, yeah, so the fact that it went to TV, like my ass jumped right back on social media and I was like, then finally, after all this time, like, oh my gosh. And so now I don't know how I feel about am I going to stay on it? Am I not going to stay on it? Am I going to send this footage to a lot of people? Or am I just going to let the universe like take its, um, you know, take its time and just put me where it wants me to be. That's what I'm leaning towards. I did submit to impact wrestling a few months ago, which is crazy because my husband just worked there Friday and Saturday and we, he, that was just sort of serendipitous. Um, I have not heard anything from them, but I have 
several friends that work there and really enjoy it. So I thought, well, if I'm going to do something that might be, you know, a good fit for me, um, I have not heard anything yet, but I don't know. Wow was amazing. We had an amazing week in LA. It was eight days away from my family, which was tough for me. That was the longest I've ever done that. And my little one was only two at the time, but it was just such an awesome experience. And yeah, I feel like that this, what the heck is that noise? I feel like that this whole thing actually going to television and the pilot getting picked up has um, taken a huge like weight off my shoulder as like a performer because my husband was with WWE for you know 10 years or longer and he's got all this footage and he'll forever go down in history for certain things and I just didn't have that yet and now thank you to the wow and the wrestling gods and everything I, I can finally say that and I know it, a lot of people are probably like oh it's not a big deal like whatever but it's a big deal to me and again like once you're a performer you want to be i always wanted to be the best so anyways i'm so thankful to wow for the experience and bambi and malaya and david and amber and i had not wrestled in eight years when i debuted here so it was like quite the thing um i can see a few little spots where i was like a little like rusty but i'm like damn i haven't been on tv in eight years i did pretty stinking good so it's just awesome um, and it's it was great production. What I loved about WOW is the characters. So I have a theater background. So what was so awesome about doing that show is the, the characters and like there's a voodoo priestess and she's doing tarot and then there's, you know, the reformation of Team Blondage with Amber and Lana Starr who's a perfect addition. You have to watch our in, like our entrances because we didn't even go over that entrance in the back or anything. We just did it and it was beautiful and just the, you know, the flow of that. And I'm just thankful. If I never get another chance to do anything else again, I'm like, I'm not a total like fuck up in my life. Like I felt so many times over, not that I haven't been super successful in other things, but in wrestling, I really destroyed that. And you know, I've had to deal with like reading things that people have written about me on the internet and um, really hurtful things. And I don't even have that much of a following so I can't imagine people have millions of followers like how they feel but I don't know it's just cool and then we were like trending yesterday between like the DC comic people and like I was like what like this is insane and I'm personally a person that doesn't really like to watch like heavy TV so I love the CW so I'm like oh my god I'm on the same channel as Vampire Diaries and Gossip Girl so just a really cool moment for me. And I am like total hypocrite. I'm back on social media for now. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I just wanted to share with people that I don't talk to all the time or that maybe I only know through social media. I'm like, I was so excited to like share with everyone. So I'll probably put like the little wow clip on after this so that everybody can see it. Um, but I'm just really thankful and I'm really happy. And when you get to a certain age and you've been doing this for as long as I've been doing it, you're just like, you just take it for what it is and just enjoying the moment. I'm not worried about the future. I don't know if I'm ever going to do TV again. I don't know that. Um, but I'm really thankful for what I have. And I'm thankful to everyone that believed in me enough to do that after not wrestling for eight years. I was actually modeling at HSN full time before I had my little boy. And there was like rumblings of like, would you like be interested in, you know, coming back and like maybe reforming Team Blondage? And like, and I was like, what? I've wrestled in eight years. And it actually ended up happening. So, why? And, and it made it to TV. So, like, wild world. But um, I'll put the little wow clip on this, but I wanted to update you guys because I'm like, oh my God, I'm back on social media. And I said I wasn't going to. And now I'm like, hypocrite city. But it is what it is for right now. And I'm still going to try to limit my time because I do think it keeps you from like being present. But I was just so stinking excited. I had to get on here and show, and show y'all. So um, anyways, I hope everyone... Well, you can see my car seat in the back. I got to shoot in my car because um, I have no privacy because I'm a mom. So... <laughs> Uh, 
Um, anyways, love you guys. I'm going to put the wow clip on after this and you guys can um, go and watch the whole season on CW and Pluto. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Yes. You seen them fall though? My beautiful the mommy. friend, Lana Star. Fans for welcoming me into the Wow family. Anyone in their pants under the tutelage of the fabulous Lana Star.